we have a special request for big waves um, that we saw. Um, we had, oh, do you remember who requested it? Did I tell you her no, name? No, you didn't tell me a name. Oh, darn, and it's in my Instagram, so I can't look right now, but she had a picture um, that she wanted me to recre recreate. Recreate. Mm. Recreate. Uh, she wanted me to recreate. So that's what we're going to do today. I, I honestly feel like this is the waves I do like every week. Yeah. But I think it's just a little more full, mm -hmm. like a bigger, more horizontal than vertical. And it starts a l almost a little lower, I yeah. think. I think so um, too. And then it's a little bit more finished to the ends, but that's really about yeah. it. So we are going to teach you how to get bigger like sections in the waves. So we want the valley peak ratio. So let me show you that right away before I get too into talking. I'm just gonna do it and show you. So we're going to go in. I'm going to take a big section for this. What temperature do we have this on? Okay, we're on 325 for me. So I'm gonna start kind of low and then I'm going to hold it more horizontal and push forward. And then, can you see the ends? Are they kind of finished out or not finished out? They're um, kind of finished out, but they're not super like tight at the end. You see what okay. I mean? Yeah. So I, I figured we could maybe show this to everybody. Okay, so I think I'm that. going to do, let me look at it. So this was the request photo. So we're going to recreate that look for you today on my non-blow-dried hair. So that's how my hair looks. I know. Not as healthy today. I was rushing this morning too with the blow dry. Were you? Oh yeah. How come? What were, What was your excuse? Mine was meetings. <laughs> well, <laughs> my hour drive doesn't awesome. help, but <laughs> uh, if I could blow dry while I was driving, that would be really helpful. Think about how many people have a commute for an hour a day easy. I know, right? Ugh. Yikes. I would definitely be washing my hair on the weekends if I had to drive an hour every single day. <laughs> I, usually I usually wash my hair the night before and... Um, Yesterday I didn't get the chance, so did it this morning, and so I was running a little behind. Okay. I don't know if I'm getting the right curl for this. I'm. I, I think you I'm need to maybe take it. a little bit smaller sections. Yeah, I think that's more it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit higher up starting. Do you think? Okay. I'm, I might switch it up on this side and see. Because it seems like she has, like if you were to consider like the valley and the peak, Yeah. she has like three valleys. Okay, everybody. Um, peak valley peak of a curl okay so I want to make sure you understand when we talk because this look is very tied to the valleys and peaks so I want to make sure you understand that this is a peak this is a valley and this is a peak so that's how we're going to talk a lot and reference these curls mm -hmm. what does the face frame look like here I just noticed I started in the front too which we never do she has a little bit longer of a face frame she doesn't really mm -hmm. have much face frame okay um, but yeah so there's one, I think two, three valleys. How about this? So I went very horizontal at the beginning. Would you say that's accurate to that look? Is a very horizontal mm -hmm. in the beginning? I think so too. Mm -hmm. Definitely, especially you can tell from this angle here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do a little less horizontal on the face frame because I want it to be less Farrah Fawcett and more like wave back. And I think that's about accurate. Yeah. yeah. I like 325 because I can really take my time and go slower on the curl otherwise I get it too curly so that what works good for me isn't that funny I want to go slower on my curl mm -hmm. well I think that that's a good combination for you since you do use a lower heat yeah that is exactly that's the it. curl you want yeah that's for it. that look okay mm -hmm. so whoever requested this I'm sorry I don't remember your name I didn't hold on to it today <laughs> um, this is that curl I just created is exactly what you want to go for so it's just off of horizontal I think but I went pretty far forward and out and that's the right section size so for me the section size is not very thick and about this like from my pointer finger to my second knuckle is like Up the section. Inches, yeah. Yeah. Inches. And I've got it very fanned out so that it fits on the plates. It's almost exactly the length of the plates actually. It's yes. Close. It's and like Lindsay, I know that or something. Mm -hmm. Lindsay wants to know, does the shape of your face determine where your peaks and valleys should be or is it more of a one size fits oh, all? Oh my gosh. That's a great. So you, you don't have to determine it that way, right? But you can accentuate certain parts very easily by 
knowing where your valleys and peaks are. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, especially, okay, here's my big one on the, you know, the wave looks, if it dips in first, I very, very rarely like it on somebody. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be like flawless or have a very certain look you're going for to have the dip and then the peak mm -hmm. in, in things, right? Like, so if you're braiding your hair to get waves, do an inside out braid, not a normal braid because the, it will die first and it looks really awkward. Mm -hmm. I can see that. It's, it's a big one. I've, um, learned quite a bit about like hair contouring too. Yeah. Like how there's like skin contouring with makeup. You can mm -hmm. contour yourself with your hair and you can do that either with color or you can do it with shape. So, yes. Um, especially like around your face, like if you're blonde starts lower, it's highlighting, you know, your mouth down, but if your blonde starts higher, then it kind of accentuates more of like your eyes and cheekbone area. Um, same with your curl. If your curl is starting really low, it's going to accentuate here. Mm -hmm. Wherever your like, um, wherever the peak of your curl is, is the part that it's going to accentuate first. Does that make sense? Wherever the peak of your curl is? Yes. I think so, because where the valley is is where it would essentially be contouring. So you want it to mm -hmm. peak through here and then valley through here. The higher up that curl starts, then yeah. that's where you're going to I've drawn the it. attention to here, mm -hmm. and now I've drawn the attention to here. It's crazy how much that can yeah. change a person. it lightens your face a lot. And that's why the um, ombre effect works really well on, on hair, especially like Savannah is a great example of it, right? Like, so she has dark here, and if her blonde only started, like if I take the dark and I cover up the blonde, mm -hmm. do you see how the attention she comes there? there. Mm -hmm. But do you see on the right side how her blonde picks it up so it's attention around her eyes? Got a good so, money piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the money piece. Okay, I was too horizontal in the beginning, so I'm refreshing this and being a little bit more little less horizontal not much but a little bit it's and almost at the very end I just tip down it's almost exactly like that perfect like 45 degree angle that we used to talk about yeah. all the time I think so I think it's very similar to that but boy my sections were way too big in the beginning don't do that <laughs> that gets it way too ferrofosity there yeah, don't get too big of pieces on this. You will get very fair across it very quick. Pick up curls, I think, would maybe help a little bit. Too. Yeah. But see, now we have to recreate her look and not what I want. I know. Because I like curls up higher on me. But for this look, the curls are You lower. could even do pick up curls that are lower. That's that, true. That just break up a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to show this picture for anybody who didn't see it initially. This is the look that she's recreating here. We had a special request to get these curls for somebody. Exactly. That curl was perfect. Yeah, I liked that one too. I was thinking that same thing. I think I think I was going too far out and forward than going down. So I think I want to go down just a little bit more. So when you travel down versus traveling forward, watch, if I travel straight forward like this, my curl changes from here. This creates a little bit more curl in and I think that's what my problem was here. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a lot of my problem here. You can see the difference so well right mm -hmm. there. That's crazy. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so I'm just gonna do 45 degree angle, travel forward and down. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good curl compared to what she was wanting. If I go out to the side, I'm going to create less curl. If I go forward, I'm going to create more curl. And all of it is determined by how much is traveling right there on the iron. You'll see how this changes, right? Less curl and more curl. You saw how I changed that at the end. So let me flip it in place and see if I can get more curl. You see how it's just less curl there. And that's because I was, if I travel out to the side and I want more fullness, I can do that, but I just have to rotate more. So just close, rotate more, then travel out to the side is one thing. And I'll show you the difference between that and the other one. You see how that, oh, I finished on the <laughs> curl so nicely. I saw you kind of pause there for a second. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was debating on what I wanted to do. Sorry. A glitch in the system. It's completely. <laughs> what am I doing funny? I think my hair is just too wet. I need to set it in place. Okay. There we go. Your hair is so damn still. I know. It's so crazy. It's so wet. <laughs> oh, it's so funny how it's 
not curling as much because of how wet it is. Sorry guys, my morning meetings got in the way of getting my hair done really well today. It's funny that we were both struggling on our blow dries today. Yeah, that's not normal for us, no. is it? No. Oh gosh, I went to very vertical, sorry. Doing all kinds of funny things. Okay, that one was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had to do the corrector. That though. strong peak valley peak is what you need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so, you need that strong one for this. All right, more vertical a little bit because I don't want too fair a faucet. Okay. See, the way you get the Farrah faucet is by this right here. That will get it. This doesn't, this does. Okay, so if you get Farrah faucet, you can go to the straightening side and just kind of dip it back up. <laughs> dip it back up. <laughs> Look Retract it. the dip. Yeah. Uh, okay. I like oh. how this came together too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's Very kind of, cool. it's kind yeah. of Farrah faucet -y because of my curtain bangs. I got to figure that out. Curtain bangs are, yeah, they're tricky sometimes whenever you want to do like big curls. Yeah. I think you just really have to do the lean back a bit more. I mean, doing the big time trick to, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, that's starting to help it a little bit. I think it's this curl right here that. Yeah, break that guy up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that big one I did in the beginning. I was cheating too much there, guys. Get this out of the way. Okay. Okay. Um, the next thing I will do is spray. So what what does the uh, face frame look like? I don't think she had center, did she? Um, oh yeah, she did. Just, yeah, just stop centered. Okay, so Maybe her center. curl started much lower. I can't do that because my bangs are too long. So and she, she, also, she just looked more like this. And one picture has one side tucked behind her ear. Can I do that? <laughs> it's so, such a peaceful picture. <laughs> Gosh, she's pretty. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. So yes, just dip that down more and don't start your face frame up as high. Would be better. Yeah, yeah. that looks almost like it. Yeah, I think so too. Yep. And I like that better. It's not so fair. So fair. <laughs> okay. So yeah, smaller sections for this. Very 45 degree angle, pretty full rotation gets you the look that you would want. And then it's going to matter your hair type. Like my hair type builds out doing this curl, so it will look more full than a lot of people. Like Savannah could do this and hers won't build out as mm -hmm. much as mine. I hope this curl helps you get a look you've always wanted or dreamed of or can look in that picture and get that exact um, look. Cause I mean, all of it is is just changing your rotation in here and here. That's it. Like, that's how simple it really comes down to. We're just always here explaining more so that you don't have to think about it and we can just narrow it down for you. Yeah. We're trying to give you clarity. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys.